Carl. Welcome to this issue from Scroll Saw Video. Today I'd like to show you a couple of tips that I, I constantly use and possibly you'll have a chance to use them also. Every time I turn on my scroll saw, I use some kind of dust collection. And for me, I have this dust collector right here. I'll zoom in a little bit. See this dust collector? It's 12 inches wide by 24 inches long and approximately 3 foot deep. I keep that right next to my scroll saw. You can see I have the DeWalt on one side and the RBI on the other side. The DeWalt, the air blower, when it's turned on, will blow the air this way towards the dust collector. And the RBI, which is on this side, I put the air blower where it's coming off the right side and it'll blow the air this way towards the air cleaner. That keeps a lot of the dust out of the shop and even more importantly keeps it more out of your lungs. Uh, I would recommend that, that to anybody if you want to give that a shot. Works great, never had any trouble with it. Okay, the second tip I wanted to show you today. When cutting most woods, not all woods, but 99% of the woods that you cut you're going to have some sort of tear out on the bottom. Some people call it fuzzies, but it's more commonly known as tear out. This pattern I just got through cutting out. It's, I know it's hard to see right now. But I removed the pattern out the front and I'll zoom in so you can see the tear out. Let's see here. It might be hard to see. But there's, two, like down in the veins, there's tear out everywhere. There is a new product on the market. This one's sold by Dremel. It is a detail abrasive brush. This is up close. You can see that it's um, white in color. The part number is EZ472SA. The way this works, it, it connects to a mandrel that goes into your collet on your Dremel. This is what it looks like when it's in your Dremel. Right here on this piece, you can see this tear out going through right here. And also there are some on this side. So if you take your Dremel with this attachment the tear out goes away very easily. You can see some more on this piece right here. Very easy. These Dremel accessories cost three, four dollars each, depending on where you buy them. Very well worthwhile accessory to buy for your Dremel. Makes your project come out much better when completed. Makes it easier for finishing. You should give this a try sometime. <laughs>